Hey guys, it's me, Don Fanatic. Uh, not sure where I'm going to be yet, not sure if I'm on Xenon's channel or my own. But welcome to week 8 of the TBU for the Slovenian Arc Alliance. Obviously, I am not Xenon. This is the third team I've played for in this damn league. <laughs> but for some reason, Xenon was stupid enough to trust me with his squad to face uh, Josh Squirtacular in the Battle Union. And, uh, well, I'm nervous because... Xenon's team is fat. Josh's team is fast and scary, and, and that combination does, does not best please me at all. So, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Basically, I'll give you the six Pokemon I have now. Uh, team analysis, maybe up. I'm not sure because I'm not sure where it'll, what channel it'll be on. Mine or Xenon's. Um, we've got Arcanine, Crocodile, Mega Scizor, Amoongus, Electros, and Meloetta. We've got bulk, and we have power in this team. Now, the Meloetta, I've never had a good chance. Yes, this Meloetta went through. So we've got Holucha, Mew, Nidoking, Mandibuzz, Kabalion, and Raikou. So no Mega Zard X, which is really interesting, actually. So uh, Arcanine is mainly going to be used for uh, that Holucha. I better get them rocks up sometime soon. Now, I'm going to have to be careful here, um, I think. Who do I want to lead with? I want to get my rocks up. I really do. That whole loot is there for a crocodile, I reckon. I just sense it. I might lead with... Ah, uh, this, is, this is so annoying. I'm going to lead with Crook and see what the matchup is, because I want to get my rocks up. He has got his defogger, obviously. In his uh, Mandibuzz. This is interesting. So I was really prepared for Mega Zard X. This also means he's going to have a hard time taking down Mega Scizor, potentially. However, you know, Holucha kind of does stop it. I have got Superpower, which will completely take lives from whatever is in. But, you know. Right, so good luck, have fun, Josh. Good luck, have fun. Otherwise, by the way, his team is pretty much what is to be expected. He's been pretty standard with his team, Raiden. So it's Raikou. Now, I am automatically scared of Signal Beam. But he could quite equally... Uh, is he gonna... I'm scared of Signal Beam. So I'm gonna go into Humongous. Now, if he takes his time... He withdraws. Okay. He withdraws. And in comes Miruto. Which is Mandibuzz. Okay, so... He doesn't have the Signal Beam. Or he's scared I'm Scarfed. Which is interesting. I could have got my rocks up there. I can freely go for it. Oh, he might taunt. Let's scout and see if he has the taunt. I'm going to Toxic here. Getting this thing Toxic would be amazing. Or anything for that matter. He's, oh, he uses Foul Play, which is fine by me. That probably means he doesn't have Brave Bird, and it means I'll win this war against this Mandibuzz. Especially with Toxic. Unless he's Rest, of course. Now, what do I go for here? Do I click Sludge Bomb? Do I go for damage? I've got to take a picture of his team. That was incredibly stupid. Right, let me open up my notepad. I've still got Enzo's team here. So he has. He obviously has. I think I can remember anyway. Or Lucha. Mew. Is he going to switch? I mean, what can he do here? I'm going to Toxic again. Oh, he, oh, he U-turns the predictions. Mew, Horlucha, um, okay, don't go into Cavalion. he probably will to be honest, I do have Hidden Power Ground, Mew's, he goes into Mew, perfect, because obviously Synchronize will not work because I'm a Poison type, which is lovely jubbly, and I'm kind of intrigued to see what he's going to do here, Synchronize obviously doesn't work, See if he's leftovers or not. Or will, will he, does he get leftovers for his turn? I'm not sure if he does. Um, he could Ice Beam. I honestly think maybe. I'm scared he'll go for a Will O Wisp on a prediction of a switch. Sorry, he's got Holucha, Mew, Kabalion, Raikou. 
Um, you, what are you gonna do to me here, boy? I need to keep Meloetta healthy. That's my problem. We're gonna go into Woofus. Um, Raikou, Kabali, and Mew. He withdraws Mew, which is interesting. And he goes into Raikou. Well, I go into my... Go into my Arcanine. What's he going to have to hit me here? I'm physically defensive, so I'm tempted just to go for a Morning Sun. There's the Volt Switch, so I'm going to get all my health back, I assume. Most of it, yeah. Most of it. Especially after Leftovers. So, oh, I can't remember what it's like. Oh, I've got Ma Mandibuzz, Raikou, Kabalion, Mew, and Horlucha as his Mon. Well, oh, Kabalion. Now I've got Kabalion on my list. Is this thing going to knock off? Is this thing going to knock off? Is that why he switched it in? Why do I want to get knocked off the most here? Anything? Kabalion, Mandibuzz, Raikou, Mew, Volucha. What was his last mon? I'm gonna click Flamethrower and see what he does. I have speed, obviously. The U turns out, so that's gonna do absolutely nothing to me. This match is in my control at the moment, so I just had to keep it up. Just keep it going, Jack. I need to see what his last mon is. Raikou, Mandibuzz, Kabalion, Mew, Horlucha. There's the Kubalia. Now I'm intrigued. Is he going to try and get rocks up here? Because that's fine by me if he does. I'm just going to will o wisp There's the rocks. Okay. This thing just became way less of a threat. As long as this hits, of course. So we're getting all kinds of status off now. I'm really surprised he'd done that just to get his rocks up. I mean, yes, I don't have a spinner. I could have a spinner. But I don't. You might Volt Switch out here. Or Secret Sword, even. I'm going to click Flamethrower. Toxic's me. Okay, that's interesting. Because this Cabalion, if it's like max speed, is like potentially able to stop Crocodile. Ooh, that's a that's a kill. That's that's a kill. That's a thing. And I've just realised I've let my check to Mandibuzz get severely weakened, which is not good. So maybe I don't want to put rocks up. That's new. He has Heal Bell, I swear. If he has Heal Bell. He's not going to go for a fire move. I'm pretty confident of that. Unless he makes a prediction, of course. Could have Earth Power. I do have my Mega Sizzle, though. So, Kabalion's gone. Calm Mind Mew. How about no... No, 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 no. Now, I don't know if he'll have a fire move. That's my only problem. I'm so glad this thing's toxic. I have to scout. I have to scout. Does that mean it's bulky Mew, though? I want to get a slow Volt Switch off. I need to scout for Flamethrower. Is 
There it is. I'm glad I followed my instinct. I am max special defense assault best, so uh, I should be taking hits from this thing relatively well. Oh, Nido King is his last one, of course. Right, I'm gonna super fang. Just in case he wants to make any predictions. If he goes into a Lucha, I'll be scared. I won't lie to you, I would be scaring myself pookless. God bless the electric eel. If he stays in, that'd be a good play, but I expect he'll want to keep this thing. I think he needs to, really. Stays in, which is interesting. See, Fangs can do a hell of a lot, of course, and there's half of what the opponent has. So I'm pretty confident that a Drain Punch and Toxic will take this thing out. Psychics. Okay, Drain Punch will obviously not get me all my health back, but it will get some health back. We ate that up so much. Get my health back a tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny teensy bit. Now the only thing, if that's scarfed, Nino King. Nah, I've still got this as a switch. This is still a switch to an extent. So he has Hall Lucha, Raikou, Mandibuzz, and Nido King left. There's the whole Lucha. Now, is he going to sub up? He might sub expecting my switch. But he just goes for the high jump kick. Honestly, that's fine. I think Nida King would probably be able to take me out from where I was. Let's bring in Meloetta. I think this could be game. He should switch out here. I expect him to. Yep, there it is. If I can hit these moves, this is game. Oh, you do not have a switch, son. Not even slightly a switch, boy. I tested this team with, um, with, um, I can't even think now. Mono, Monotui. And, uh, I kind of killed four of his moms with this Malweta, so. You know, it's a, it's a thing. If he hasn't got, if he's not Scarf Raikou, makes me think he isn't, because he, um, he, he switched out against my, uh, Crocodile. So Mandibuzz is gone. He's got Nido King, Raikou, and Horlucha left. Now I have enough. I don't know if I have enough speed in this thing to outspeed max speed Horlucha. I didn't consider Horlucha. I considered Raikou. I am an idiot. Team building fail right there, guys. <sighs> I just hope Josh doesn't realise. It's 3 to 5 though. That whole Lucha, if I can get some flamethrowers off, or a will or something. Is this thing scarfed? Time to find out. Zen Headbutt will kill, or has a chance to anyway. He outspeeds, he is Scarfed Nido King, ladies and gentlemen. Do I live? No chance.
kind of need this thing gone. So I'm going to click knock off. In case he switches to a lucha. The way I've brought this in will make it seem like I'm Scarf Crocodile as well. Just to make him, like, continue the bluff even more. With draws, is he going to go into Volucha? Oh, that's Raikou, isn't it? Ah, Could have clicked Earthquake. Could have clicked Earthquake. Should have clicked Earthquake. Unless there's a crit. That is so damn close. So I'm at a range where Bullet Punch will kill. Now, will he have hidden power or something? He's not Specs anymore, which makes me think, you know, I'm gonna put my rocks up. There's the hidden power. He's not Specs, so I'm sure I'll live. Quite comfortably, and I have a switch in left as well. Now it's probably Hidden Power Ice. Because of Amoongus as well. So I can just swoop straight into a uh, Scizor. Mega Evolve. Ooh, extra sensory, not bad. He predicted the switch, so maybe it's not Hidden Power Ice. I can go for the Bullet Punch. Probably should have clicked Roost, to be honest. Actually, yeah, I should have clicked Roost. Should kill, because obviously Technician. Max Attack. If he brings in Nido King, I expect he'll have a uh, fire move. Now I'm really scared of what he has left. Really scared of what he has left. If he brings in Horlucha. That's Nido King. Nido King does get a fire move. <sighs> Is he gonna predict my switch and go for Earth Power? I'm gonna roost. He has to make plays at this point. He does Earth Power! Thank you. I'm gonna live. Oh my god, just. That done. Way too much for my liking. Do I need Mega Sizzle? Click Superpower in case he makes a switch. He doesn't, he stays in. I have to click something. I have to let Sizzle die here, I think. All my moves are resisted by this thing, so uh, that, that that's a problem of mine. <laughs> Let's click Bullet Punch, get some damage off before I go down. Crit? No, that wasn't even a crit. Oh wow, I could have just Bullet Punched him twice. This is what I get for not knowing my matchups. Humongous is definitely the one. Click Hidden Power. I've Hidden Power Ground. So that's a dead Nido King. He has his whole Lucha left. And I am scared. Because if he subs... 
He obviously gets his unburden back with acrobatics. This is a problem for me. This really is a problem. I'm gonna have to collect Sludge Bomb. I can't even be mad at him right now. I just can't be. Oh, he missed! Oh! He missed the sky attack. Dude, that was... I think that's pivotal, because he has to charge too, and he only has high jump kick left. Oh, acrobatics, of course. Dude, power hub sky attack. That's genius. I love it. Uh, I am max defense. Stealth Rocks is obviously going to hurt, but I am intimidate max defense. Flamethrower has got to kill a Sludge Bomb on that much. Flamethrower. High jump kick. Oh god. Oh, that does not anywhere. No, doesn't even do anywhere near enough. And that's good game, Josh. That is good game. That was. Oh man, I thought I'd mess that up. But we won for Xenon, and uh, <laughs> that's all that matters. I didn't say at the start, Xenon has been one of the, mo or my most inspiring YouTubers around, and, um, or for Pokemon anyway. I started watching him way back in 4th gen, and, oh, it, oh, man, it feels so good to, like, win for him. It's, it, it oh. I feel so happy right now. Josh, that was a great game, dude. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Props to you for using Sky Attack. If you had sub, I would have lost. Because, you know, I, I would have just got completely destroyed. But it was a fun game. A good game. Damn your Scarf Nidoking. If you didn't have Scarf Nidoking, it would have been a Meloetta sweep. But hey, I got a, I got a kill with Pirouette Meloetta. It's, uh, it was good. It was good. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Uh, if this is on Xenon's channel, come check me out. If this is on my channel, go check Xenon out. Appropriate links will be in the description, I'm, I'm sure. Otherwise, guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. See you guys around. Bye.